Negotiating a salary can be tricky to navigate. The stakes are usually very high, and it's a stressful situation for almost everyone involved. But what if AI can help? Pactum AI is doing just that. They're using generative technology to negotiate packages for their employees, as well as big business vendor contracts, too. Co-founder and CEO of Pactum, Martin Rand, joining us now. Martin, it's good to see you. This headline caught a lot of people's attention because I think most people dread having those salary negotiations. There's a lot of stress. People worry about the right things to say. So you guys are taking a bit of a different approach by using AI. How does this work? Yes, indeed. And we might be the only company in the world doing this. We start thinking about that because what we're doing uh, basically is we're using AI to negotiate supplier deals for the world's largest enterprises like uh, Walmart and Maersk, uh, unlocking hundreds of millions of dollars. So we have all of this technology. At some point, we thought, hold on, let's use it for our employment negotiations. Um, and it's a chatbot negotiating with every new employee. And the outcomes have been pretty spectacular. So how does it work? So when a new employee joins, uh, they will get a chance to negotiate with an AI bot that negotiates kind of like a human, but we take all of the biases uh, out of it. Uh, so uh, if one of the major problems is, uh, is a gender pay cap, pay gap, basically the problem is that um, women don't negotiate enough. Women negotiate only um, when they are expected uh, to negotiate. Um, uh, and they negotiate a lot less uh, than men, science has shown. But now, uh, AI bots don't have this expectation. Uh, so, so it removes that uh, gap. Uh, and uh, when uh, our people go through the negotiations, uh, 85% uh, prefer uh, to have this negotiation again uh, with the bot uh, in the future. And this is basically because every person can think what is the best outcome for them. And if you think about it, um, employment negotiations are complicated because there are so many things to talk about. Uh, there are payment intervals, uh, health insurance, education stipends, uh, titles, uh, student loan support, and the list goes on and on and on. Essentially, uh, there are millions of combinations for good deals and a yeah. machine will find those deals much better uh, than humans. Uh, uh, Martin, you know, I take your point about removing the bias in a human to human conversation. But as you know, there's also been criticism about biases built into AI and the need for more transparency on how it was actually programmed. So even if we're talking machine learning, how do you ensure there's no biases in that? So this is a little bit different. Um, what uh, the biases people usually talk about with regards to AI is biases that come from the training data. But uh, this, uh, our system doesn't require a lot of such training data. Uh, our system has been trained to find Pareto optimal outcomes uh, in negotiations, meaning it'll know uh, what is the uh, best uh, combination between tradable terms. And there are no biases in these tradable terms per se. Martin, do you think that this is something that can be used at scale or are there some difficulties associated with this? It can definitely be used uh, at scale. We're currently not offering this um, at a commercial level simply because uh, supplier negotiations um, are uh, are much more sought after uh, currently, uh, but in the future, definitely. And uh, what, what our employees said when they went through these negotiations is that they are uh, impartial, structured, efficient, and fast. So people will enjoy them a lot, and so will enterprises that will simply get a better deal as well. So it's a little more efficient, but I, I will ask what I think a lot of people are wondering is, isn't there a human component though that's necessary in these type of negotiations? I mean, you can remove the bias, but also isn't this part of, I guess the, the question is, do we completely remove the human interaction out of it? Is, is, that, is that also a positive? We shouldn't completely remove the human interaction out of it, but 
But uh, many people don't like negotiating. Many people are not professionals in negotiating, especially if they're negotiating something for themselves. Um, and and especially when uh, the concern is around money. So if we remove the human aspect only in that section, uh, it'll benefit uh, generally. Certainly intriguing. All right, Martin Rand, CEO and co-founder of Pactum AI. Thanks. Thanks so much.